What's good with y'all, bro? Back here with another reaction video. On today's video, we got My Strange Addiction compilation. Now, I ain't gonna lie, I've seen some of these on TV. Not necessarily saying I've seen any of these clips on TV, but I've seen that little glimpse. I don't even watch TV no more, though, to keep a band on you. I just watch YouTube. But anyway, hey, your boy birthday coming up, bro. July 4th. It's approaching. It's coming soon, but that ain't got nothing to do with this video. You know, I'm not one of those that like to waste your time and do all this talking to get some minutes on vids. Hey, let's get straight into this reaction, live reaction. I haven't seen this video. Let's go ahead and get it to it. My name is Jennifer, wow. and I'm addicted to eating mattresses. Look like a mattress. Boy. No, I'm playing. Let's go. I like my mattress plain and straight up. I know mayonnaise, butter, none of that. I know mayonnaise or butter. You're eating a mattress, bro. And I kind of like a guitar. When I found out that Jennifer eats mattresses, I was just dumbfounded. I was like, oh, it blew my mind that she did that. Of mattresses every day. Wow. I make sure, like, when my mom's not gonna be in her room, or I can be in her room. So, like, let's say when she get in the shower, um, tiptoeing in there to get it. The reason why I'm not. But not only is it weird, but it's how nasty it actually is. Because, like, people, like, laying on these mattresses. Excuse me. Yes, it's really the only way you have. It's nasty. It enters my body and leaves my body. It goes through. She's my one of those you can't invite over to your house. Goes out. <laughs> I'm very concerned about her health and I, I, her digestive system. I have seen it in, in the toilet. It comes out in whole pieces. Why is he examining her products? I mean, when she go to the bathroom, whole family weird. I was sitting in the back seat and it was like sponge down there, and I just picked it and took it and was like. Just chew it on him. I've eaten couches, box springs, chairs, but for the last 10 years, mattresses has just been my thing. Okay, but can we move away from her, man? I'm trying to see something else. I just know not that well. She wouldn't even come near me to so begin with. How often do you eat mattress foam? I consume it every day. And like one sitting, like I would eat like about this big. You know, the problem you face is you're going to have a hole in your intestine or a complete bowel obstruction. Right. And it's going to be an emergency. And emergency I'm means... I'm going to be honest, this video is 15 die. minutes and I'm, I'm over her. It matches a year, so let's go to somebody else. All right. My name is Gloria. I'm 28 years old and my addiction is bleach. You're going to die. Simple. I love bleach a lot. I ain't gonna say I love more than I love myself, but I do love bleach. <laughs> I don't consider myself a germaphobe. I'm not afraid of dirt. I'm not afraid of germs. I just like the feel of bleach. Every day, Gloria cleans her house but, top to bottom. I, but bleach gives me headaches. She if goes I smell through more it than 300 gallons every year. So you take pride in having bleach these ruined her clothes and damaged furniture, but Gloria refuses to stop cleaning with it. And I go and I wipe like my tables down, my stairwell down with it, cleaning the bathroom with it, my toilets, my sink, the tub in the kitchen. I clean my stove with it, my countertop, refrigerator. There's been times where I walked in the house and bleach, the bleach smell just slapped me in the face. Gloria's addiction to bleach began seven years ago. While this she one's more too, but I'm trying to see some something wow, bro. Yeah. Like. like have one happily married to a to a what? My name is Oh no! I think my husband for eight years. We are getting ready to celebrate. Wait a minute, bro! I have no facial hair, bro. Like I got a little little something. You know what I'm saying? Polycystic ovarian syndrome. And she has a full. Jackman beard, brother. Like she just growth, cuts Timberwolf all day. The center of women between the age of 12 and 25 suffer from. Oh, it's a disease. Oh, my bad. Any, any women that got beards. This ain't too easy. I'm speechless. I hated it. My mom enrolled me to get laser hair removal. Needless to say, it did not work. It was not permanent. By the time I 
I'm not gonna lie to you, this made my stomach turn. He messaged me because I'm a photographer and he liked some photos that I had taken of one of my friends. Our relationship naturally developed. It felt like I had a really great connection with him. Now and then, like imagine you getting with like with a girl, right? Then she real fine. She don't tell you she got a beard problem, right? You wake up, you get a morning, you see that stubble coming in under her chin. Your stuff is outside, I'm sorry. The only reason, like, y'all might be like, why are you skipping so much? This video is 14 minutes long. I doubt y'all want to be here for 14 minutes. I mean, if y'all rock with me like that, then y'all rock with me like that. But, like, I'm so many things we don't. Okay, now we're into the strange stuff. Because this is OD. And spent $158,000 to make me really resemble a doll. And um, just was first, bro. then moved on to bicep implants, tricep implants. I always had this idea dream in my head. Like, my name is Nathaniel, I'm 27 years old. And I'm in a serious relationship with Michael. Hi, baby. My handsome man. What, bro? Daniel is in a committed relationship what, bro? with a car that he's named Chase. He met and the Chase car's name is Chase. About five years ago. Oh, oh my god. god. This is why I don't do reactions with headphones right here. Because if I would have heard this in my ear, I would have ended the whole video. I'm not here to hear a man kissing metal in my ear. This ain't no ASMR anymore. But he didn't find true love. That just OD loud coming from the phone. I find this part of him the most sexy just because of the subtle lines and curves. I'll give him a kiss here. And just kind of caressing the outside. Stop kissing the part, bro. My initial reaction was I was kind of shocked. It was kind of weird because it was just hard to understand. I don't know why I feel the way I do, but I just absolutely love Chase. We always have such a good time together. He likes a lot of the same music I do. But we have a favorite song. It's uh, Can't Fight This Feeling by R.H.B. Blank. I do get a guess how you buy something for your fiance or your wife. And then usually for his birthday, I try to do something. I mean, special. there's nothing wrong with loving your car, but this, going to this is, area. I, I believe just anybody be says it's another level, bro. Just be with him, man. Hey, my old car, I'd be looking at that junk crank up. I ain't gonna want to see you, but hey. We have our times when we get sexual. We get what? You're a handsome man. Love you, baby. What we do the most often is I like to lean over his fender and across his hood and uh, do little things like that and, uh, and kind of press up against him and just and rub against him like that. Oh. One of his more bold positions is for me to be underneath him. He really likes that. And it's very special to make love to Chase. I am worried for my friend because it's not normal. All right, at this point, I'm kind of getting mad. I, ain't, I don't know why, but I'm getting irritated with this. What is doing here? Like, cause I'm imagining scenarios, like, you go outside of your car, right, let's say you somewhere, and dude next to you gets under his car, giving his car some points. I'm gonna try to push your car over you, I'm sorry. <laughs> you gotta go, bro. It really bothers me when he gets dinged or scratched. If somewhere we have him chase, my heart would just stop. I'm just have to gather my... Getting out of here. No. Everything to his father. Yeah. Bro, he's got a whole like 10 minute clip to his okay. self. Okay, uh, yeah, they say the weirdest for last. And, and it involves masturbating as well. <laughs> okay, um, so you. See what I'm saying? This dude's still weird. I skipped like I three minutes over, over, and it's the first thing I you hear this man say. Like right now, you're. <laughs> Did you just let your hands Bro, like. I'm by something. Was it because of the divorce between me and your mom that did any of this? 
Oh. I feel like that may play a small part in it. Nah, he's just weird. But don't blame that on you, bro. Your son is weird, man. Sorry that I had to... Don't bother this on you. I mean, I don't condemn you over it. I just don't understand. That's my biggest thing. Right. Yeah. Have you ever thought about it? So you need to change it. All right, y'all. That's the um, end of this bit. Um, moral of the story is I hope I never come across <laughs> any of these people or anybody like these people. Cause I'm gonna tell them about themselves. Cause obviously somebody ain't told them. So like I'm gonna be like, look, bro, what you doing, buddy? Is weird. Don't touch my car. Don't look in my car. Don't come near my car. Man, I don't even know. I'm speechless. This is just made me look at life different. We got people like this. But look, that's the end of this video. Appreciate y'all for watching again. I'll be back with more content. I think I'm about to start wrapping the reactions up. You know what I'm saying? Like, I do reactions here and there for the people that like the reactions. But I know what y'all really like. Since I can't do public interviews because of the virus, people on edge and stuff, I'm about to start bringing back the monkey vids. Oh, yeah. I'm about to be on those. I'm telling you, I'm about to bring back this content. But look, that's it for this video. Appreciate y'all for watching.